Hey Virgo, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. How you doing? It's been a minute, right? It's been a month. Been longer than a month, actually. It's been a minute. Virgo, this is a general reading for you, right? As you can see, I have the camera up there recording the cards. I already have the root cards and we are going to work it out and clarify it together. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo. You may see yourself anywhere in this reading. Maybe it hasn't happened. Maybe you're in the middle of it. Maybe it's already happened for you, okay? Either way, either way, any of the ways, <laughs> um, this is a general reading, okay? This is not your personal reading. If you see yourself anywhere in here and you decide that you need some more confirmation, understanding, wisdom, guidance, or clarity, please have your cards read. Do not make any kind of life-altering decision on a general tarot card reading. That's just insane. Okay, so have your cards read. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a bazillion really good tarot card readers on YouTube. And you know what? There just may be a good tarot card reader in your neighborhood that you don't know about. We kind of keep it on the down low a little bit, right? So all that to be said, get your cards read to know your own journey. Okay, all right, let's do this. So Virgo, you open this with the devil in reverse. This is about releasing limiting beliefs. Uh, it's about detaching as well. Shared passionate new beginning to the Empress, where there can be abundance, creation, um, five of swords, some kind of decep deception, betrayal, deceit, to the six of wands, talking about um, victory, progress, and success. So let's work this out. Spirit, tell me what the devil in reverse to the Ace of Wands is. Tell me what the devil in reverse is, right? The Three of Cups. Celebration. Releasing limiting beliefs. Celebration. Tell me what the devil is. The devil in reverse. I'm not quite sure what you mean by this. Tell me one more, please. Tell me one more about the devil in reverse. What is this talking about? What is this talking about, Spirit? The Page of Swords. So, reuniting because of some communication. We'll come back to the Devil in Reverse, okay? To the Ace of Wands. See that little, little hair flying around? Uh, okay. To the Ace of Wands. Okay. Okay, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Okay. Okay. So you have detached from something or someone. Okay? You've already detached. But now there is a message coming in with the Page of Swords. Let me make sure this is recording. Yeah. So there's a message coming in with the Page of Swords, right? To the Three of Cups about reuniting about reuniting with somebody. Doesn't mean that there had to be bad blood between you. At this point, not necessarily, but there's a small message that comes in with the Page of Swords about reuniting with the Three of Cups, right? Um, this message is about the Ace of Wands. It's about um, creating an inspired new beginning between you and whatever this is that, that wants to reunite right? They want to get together. They want to talk. Okay. The hangman in reverse. This is Virgo being resistant. Okay. Virgo being resistant to this invitation to get together and talk about old times. The moon in reverse. This is about repressed emotions. Virgo still, Virgo doesn't, doesn't, you know, to the three of pentacles in reverse. Virgo's not, real enthralled with the idea. They have some repressed emotions about what happened in the past, the lack of teamwork, why they need to reunite in the first place, right? The magician in reverse, this is manipulation to the Hierophant. Manipulation to the Hierophant um, when it comes to some kind of commitment. The commitment being manifesting a brand new beginning with the with the um, Ace of Wands right there, right? Clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck in the past, stuck, 
stuck all the way around, stuck like Chuck, right? Virgo's like, no, I don't, I don't, I remember, I don't want any kind of commitment with you because I remember what happened in the past. The Empress comes in. This is representing Virgo being just perfectly okay the way that they are right now. They're good. They're good, right? Chariot. They're moving forward. They are um, successful. They are creating abundance and they are successful. The Eight of Swords in reverse. They have released the Five of Swords. They've released the, the betrayal and the deception from the past, the shady behavior, whatever, whatever it was, Virgo has released it. And they're moving forward with determination and success as the Empress into their future to the Six of Wands. Victory, progress, and success. Yeah, look, Five of Swords upright to the Five of Swords in reverse. This says Virgo has released it. They're open to change and they are moving forward with the Six of Wands in their own abundance with victory, progress, and success. The Alchemist in reverse, right underneath the Devil in reverse. Um, this is a liar, right? This is a manipulator and a liar to the eight of cups, a manipulator and a, li and a liar that perhaps um, uh, left Virgo uh, abandoned ship, left Virgo behind, or Virgo left this person behind in pursuit of um, something better. Seven of Wands comes in, talks about a, a massive challenge, and it's right underneath, underneath this Ace of Wands, right? There is a challenge with creating something new with this person, or even burying the hatchet with this person. Four of Swords in reverse talks about uh, mentally restless, right? You just can't wrap your mind around... Um, manifesting something, a new beginning with this person. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse just kind of fell out. This is about having a lack of ambition, a lack of focus, a lack of ambition to go, to reunite with this person. The Eight of Cups in reverse. This is like straight up walking away in the center of your reading. Straight up walking away to the King of Cups in reverse. It is not worth my time or effort to share my feelings with this person. Followed by the Queen of Swords. This is my truth. This is my decision. And this is my truth to the Page of Cups in reverse. I am blocking creation with this situation, with this person. I don't want anything to do with it. The Queen of Cups in reverse. This is the removal of your feelings. The removal of your love. <coughs> to the Hierophant. This is representing you breaking this commitment. Tell me more. Yeah, look. The sun, okay? Queen of Cups in reverse is saying that you are emotionally insecure in this situation and you really, you have removed your love from it and you don't want it. The Hierophant to the Sun and the Ace of Swords. This is saying, the Hierophant to the Sun to the Ace of Swords is saying that um, you want to find happiness, success, and vitality in some other commitment, some other aspect of your life, not this. Okay. Okay. The commitment that you were in with this person that you detached from that is now coming back and trying to emotionally manipulate you, um, this, this dishonest... Whatever this was that happened in the past that you are not even remotely going to engage in again, right? The Hierophant to the Sun tells me that the commitment with this person in the past um, made you happy, right? 
it made you happy but with the nine of pentacles in reverse it turned out to be an over investment of your time right yeah look the two of cups it was an over investment of your time and it just uh, never produced what it was that you thought it was going to produce and you don't want anything to do with it or the tables could be turned it could be you wanting to get back together with this person and them telling you no so however it works yeah king of swords in reverse right angry 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 the page of pentacles in the reverse not manifesting shit with this person don't want anything to do with it the ace of swords this is your truth this is your truth this is your mental clarity to the five of pentacles in reverse being um spiritual poverty to the ten of wands a burden and a struggle and it's avoiding the responsibility that you know the burden and the struggle will come you know the burden and the struggle is involved with this situation and um yeah look the ace of cups withdrawing your emotions the princess of swords this is you returning communication to this original page of swords up here to the six of swords saying nah it's a regretful but necessary transition i don't want anything to do with any of this i'm not interested i'm really not i'm just not interested in um getting back with you or re-entering into the situation however it works there you are in your own energy the hermit energy doing some soul searching some introspection trying to come to terms with um this whole thing that's just come up in your life the three of cups stifled creativity right stifled creativity possible third party situation that caused all of the grief in the first place tell me about the three of cups spirit the knight of wands yeah right this person wants to take inspired action to come towards you right death and ending a change a transformation of the relationship oops hold up now hold up now virgo what is happening here what is happening here what is happening here so we've got the death ending change transformation we've got death twice might be might, might be dealing with scorpio let's see let's see third party situation inspired action oh ended oh i see i see i see yeah to the page of wands in reverse hold on let me work through this real quick hold on yep seven of swords yep okay okay that's what's happening here that's what's happening here right okay so what's happening here is is everything that i just said right you don't want anything to do with any of this don't want anything to do with any of this the hermit this is you knowing inside of you that this is this is the right way for you to go in this situation right the right way for you to go the three of cups because there was a third party situation to the knight of wands that somebody took inspired action towards to the death card that brought this relationship to an end in the first place page of wands um the the, the sense of an enthusiasm and excitement um, that you had with this relationship was absolutely just crushed and killed when this person or you took inspired action towards a third party situation that ended this relationship seven of swords betrayal and deception to the star right they took action towards a third party situation to um to renew it Yes, they took action towards a third party situation to renew it. The star, this is you coming out of the hermit energy and saying hope, faith, purpose, renewal for my future. I don't want any of this anymore. I am looking down the road at the horizon and it does not include you. The fool in reverse, right? 
I would be foolish. I would be stupid. I would be naive to ever engage with you again because you took inspired action towards a third party situation that ended this relationship and death. This is Virgo saying, nope. I'm ending it and putting it all to an end. There is no change. There is no transformation. I am simply snuffing it out. I am putting an end to it and I do not want it anymore. Um, I don't think that there's any material here really that we can move over to an extended reading. Um, if you guys want to drop a comment in the box about maybe what you would want to hear about in regards to this situation, um, maybe I can um, do um, like a bonus read, um, you know, in a, in a couple of, of days or maybe a week or so. Um, leave me a comment in the box. Now, all comments are held for review because there are some just downright um, stupid people out there. And I I am not um, giving anybody with any kind of derogatory opinions or any kind of nastiness a platform by which to spew their vomit. So all of my comments are held for review. I have a moderator that goes through, through them and just simply deletes the stupidity and releases all of the other comments. So I will never hear any kind of derogatory comment that you leave on this video at all. It just goes whoo, right over me and I don't even see it. So if you get pleasure out of leaving derogatory comments for tarot card readers on YouTube, you will not find that pleasure here. Okay. But do leave a comment and she will release all of the, all of the good ones. She doesn't even read the good ones. She just deletes the bad ones and releases them all. So leave me a comment as to how it is that you would like to see, um, your bonus reading, um, for, uh, February come through because I'm not really sure what I need to clarify or what we need to dig into here because you're pretty adamant, um, Virgo that you do not want any kind of reunion or reconciliation with this person. Um, and you're not interested because, um, there was uh, some kind of third party situation. So there you go, Virgo. That is your general reading for, um, February. Let me just get, let me just ask. I just feel the need to ask spirit. Is there anything else that you want to say? Actually, I'm going to use this deck. Spirit, is there anything else that you want to say to Virgo? Anything else? The world in reverse. <laughs> Close the cycle out, Virgo. There's better for you. There's better for you. And uh, you deserve better. And um, yeah, you're on the right track, Virgo. You're on the right track. Namaste.